Hello, everyone. It's me. Welcome to Portal Stories Mel with me, Brock, or the Australian Nerd, or whatever name you want to give me at this rate. Why am I playing this? Because now I have an excuse, apparently. Because I'm uploading to YouTube. God, I'm terrible at intros. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Ah, here we go. This will be interesting. Hey, yeah, it's me, Alpha, so I'm gonna play Portal 2's actual story mode. Portal Stories Mel. Wait, did I put subtitles on? I don't know. I might have to go do that. Chapter 1, 1951. 52, I meant. Actually, I'll just make sure subtitles... Is that right? We'll find out, I guess. I guess we'll find out. Is this thing on? Ha! Ah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. Yes. My name's uh, Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. The impression is not the greatest, You're here, but I'll give it sure credit. The best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't really? know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making yes. asbestos-laden shower yes, curtains for the military. Did. But I kept asbestos dreaming bigger exposure, and better. Asbestos exposure, exposure, asbestos exposure, exposure. You know what? Jesus, I'm that face. dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which yes. brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, where are we again? Uh-huh. Okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but yeah. that doesn't matter. Point is, yeah. you're riding there, and you'll soon be Aperture Science Innovators. Oh, cool. Arrow. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. I'm in... Okay, I'm just gonna set the subtitles a bit more, see if I can get as a, you know, different uh, option. Right, let's try this. Walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, walking back and forth. Because I have nothing better to do at the minute. And I think we're here, actually. Finally. Oh no, maybe we're not here. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Right. Chris, get out of here. How do you spell station? Okay, I'll think about that for a second. Does the station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. Firing from over a spelling mistake. Oh, I can't re-record this. This is hilarious. I, I just find it hilarious because I mean, it's not hilarious. I think Cave Johnson does seem like a guy who fires someone over a spelling mistake. Of all things. As we go. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, no. we haven't death. had an accident like that oh, in wonderful. three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead yeah. of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. 
And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Not bad, escape. That is something you do. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right no. to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Yeah, I'll know where to go. Totally know where to go, Cave. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, there's someone down there. Probably. I think I'm... So, Reckon. at first, I, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary uh -huh. offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> there we Seriously, go. those stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. So we're here. Sorry for being quiet, everybody. It's just I'm. Wow. Whoa! Down we go. I hope you guys can hear me, by the way. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. Because you can't That's why we're taking on this new project. Sucked. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, <laughs> I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Okay, where is your genius idea cave? Ah, oh, there it is. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test wow. whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my like ass. <laughs> <laughs> the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. But I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> yes, yes you do, Mr. Johnson. You totally psych not at all psychotic. So you'll be participating in Asshole. one of our smaller tests. Huh. The Aperture Science Innovators Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Just see anything while you wait down this very long elevator ride. Still though, this is just impressive. This is just, this is really impressive. Yep, just gonna stand here and wait. And wait. And wait. This is gonna take a hot minute. I'm pretty sure I have not actually stopped recording at this time. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. Mm -hmm. This test should be real easy for you though. Yeah. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science. Yeah. And you won't have to do a thing. Yeah. Who's the yeah. one here? You are. Yes. Yes, totally. And we're nearly at the bottom, I hope. Just walk in this elevator until we get to the bottom. Hey, everybody. You dizzy yet? I am. <laughs> And, uh, huh? What's that? Oh, there's people there. Can I actually get this? Why am I even trying to do so? And we've reached the bottom. Finally. And out we go. So, as I said on the last pre recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. 
But just remember, totally. don't stay for too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing yeah. area signs and go to bed. Why did you say, Mr. Johnson? Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. Crazy Harry? Six signs, boys, disappear. Six, wait, six people went what? Uh, yeah, Crazy Harry might be crazy, Mr. Johnson. Uh, fire him and get someone who actually knows how to do crap. Let's see. Best new style, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This way? Okay, I don't know where I'm going, I'm just winging it at this point, people. Okay, not here, I think. And, uh, do I go here? Nope. Okay, I went up here for nothing, for no reason, apparently. This 11th assignment is going spiffingly. Yep. Down we go. And, uh... Ah, oh, there's where I meant to go, I think. Oh, this way, actually. Wow, I'm confused. Actually, this is the wrong way. Damn it! First 11 minutes, and I'm already lost. Uh, oh, it's there. Wow! I'm in Nathan Poop. Open. From Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lights, me. Crazy Harry light. Ah. <laughs> uh, now this. Shouldn't go horrible you're at all. Lunch, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the best ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Yes, you probably will take care of the rest. And here we go. Yes, this will only take a few moments. Not at all. We're not all gonna be asleep for I'm gone over decades. And here we go. Am I alive? Oh no. What's that? What's going on? Did something go wrong? Something went wrong. Hello? Mr. Johnson? Wow. Is a is is this thing on? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right. Chapter two. <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry, astronaut, I Olympian, World War sucks. hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got you out okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. I'm just gonna see if there's um, options to make the subtitles smaller. You know what? I think was No, nope, that'll have to do. I so I'll just save the game while we're here. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Yeah, we wanted to sleep for a few moments, were we? <laughs> oh, classic portal. Something goes wrong, doesn't it, Mr. Johnson? Ah! Ow. Hmm. And. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. 
Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. And here it is. Well. That's why. There's an open door nearby. Should yeah. take you out of the building. Yes, You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Yes, totally built it like this. It's not like it's absolutely uh, falling apart. That. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spares in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoop. Okay, what, what am I doing wrong? Nothing, actually. Blue one's there, orange one here. Don't mind all there this, we too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. I think the earthquake thing is a half truth at best, my lads. These earthquakes my lads? Uh, even Jesus. shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. What is Adlai Stevenson? Right, so is he actually president? The earthquakes kind of did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door yeah. too. You'll have to find another way out. Yeah, redecorating, totally. That door's open. Let's see what we have here. I don't know if I was having some stuff in here. Oh, good enough, Doug. Ah! Now you're thinking of potholes! I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, yeah. while you were spending that little time sleeping, we yeah. had some. some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. That's I'll give Ben credit. He, he's trying his best since that time. I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from oh. moving around to other tents. Now, uh, now, I just want to make sure you know something before you that go didn't happen. any further. <laughs> that didn't happen. We have these new inventions Don't called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects yeah. from moving around to other tests. Mm -hmm. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through. And installed one where people needed to go through. Yeah, totally a great idea. Oh, if you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch uh -huh. isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can oh, help. Alice. Quick lever? I think. Hmm. This is gonna take a minute. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. Portable surface. Hello, portable surface anywhere? Uh, where's a portable surface? Are you portable? Yes, you are, my friend. One. Two. Ta-da! You cannot stop me, I am Mel! Apparently. God, I'm horrible at commentary. What if you can recreate this in the current mod? Probably. Now what do I do? Oh. I can do that, apparently. Oops. Uh huh. And, uh. 
just looking around for random crap. Make sure I don't miss any Easter eggs, potentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm totally doing this wall. Yeah, this is uh, not old, me being lost. Hmm. Yes, I'm totally not lost. At all. Hmm. Okay, this is already off to a bad start because I'm already stuck and oh. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You didn't see anything. Oh. Mm -hmm. The new testing track is just through here. Yes, it is. That was a shot. Oh, next saving. Here we go. Off to test. Oh, that, that's meant to happen. Just to test your uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Okay, this is gonna. Okay, and. And that's what I was not meant to do! Just to test your uh, reflexes, you yes. know, after your short sleep. Don't you mean long sleep? Then like that. God, terrible comedy. Sometimes I'm just really bad at it. Hello? Hello, hop. Now, time for testing. One second, I think this is on the regular test version. Because this should be the easier versions, I think. Because there was two versions. I don't know. Oh god, I didn't have that to the roof. Wow! Ah, yes. Bravo Volta. The. Hold on. Fit. Testing track. Yes. Fit. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling. Device I did. Look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. Yeah, this is gonna take a hot minute. And I'll come on!
stay here. Oh! Are you f fidgety fuckery? Okay. I may be on the harder test of that. I don't think this is going to work. But what do I have left to lose at this point? I'm going to start bouncing. Okay. I did it! Huh. Now everything about this test is lead line, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. Says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We got a ton back stock ready for this kind of thing. Thrown at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour. Yeah. Okay. Second space.
Here we go. It's starting to get real frustrating. Got it. You're not dead. That means that high toxicity lead didn't get in the air and, uh, I mean, great job, astronauts, Olympian, or war hero. You oh, really are a merit to science, or something like that. Just, just remember yes, this is truly really science, Olympics. isn't it? Okay. And, uh, you know what? I think we'll call it here for the day, folks. That was ep part one, episode one, or chapter whatever of Portal Stories Mel. I guess I'll see you lot uh, next time, either for more of this, or maybe some Poppy Playtime, actually. Actually, might be a good time to play that, because then chapter three is coming out uh, at least early next year. Anyway, terrible outros. And I'll, as usual, and I'll, I guess I'll, I've been the Australian nerd, and I'll see you in the land, the land down under. Goodbye!